The answer to that question isn't no. Okay. Yes, we can do this in our head. The reason why I'm asking you if you can do it in your head is it's making you think of mental strategies, thinking about what you can and can't do with these numbers, rather than just doing a long multiplication and then a division. Okay. So if you've got some ideas, jot them down by all means, but try and think of mental strategies to do that and how the numbers relate to each other. See if we can come up with three or four different ways of doing it. Anybody got an answer? Come up with a solution. Yes. And if I say, does anybody else get a hundred, you're all going to go, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we got that, we definitely got that. Right, one way you can think about it is to say, well, let's just change, think what these numbers are and how they relate to each other. So, we could say, let's rewrite it like this. So, we're going to write the 36 as 9 times 4, and we're going to write the 63 as 9 times 7. And then those 9s are going to cancel out. Happily, 175 is 25, lots of 7. So the 7s will now cancel out, leaving us with 4 times 25. So by thinking of how these numbers relate to each other, this is what we mean by mastery. Playing around with the numbers, using them intelligently, if you like, to make them work for us. Did anybody come up with a different way of doing it? Yeah? Um, I have 36 and 18. I'm so glad you said that because that's just what you <laughs> so if you're thinking of 36 times 175 is like an array, a rectangle, if you're visualizing it like that, if you halve one number and double the other number, it's going to be exactly the same area, if you like. So we can do that. So that's what you were thinking, wasn't it? I'm going to halve that one, double that one. Still doesn't help me that much, so let's do it again. I'm going to halve that one and double that one, and then we've got 6,300 divided by 63. Job done. The other way you could look at it is to think, well, actually, I don't want to multiply by 175. That's horrible. So I'm going to split that 175 into 100 and do that, which is easy. And I know that 75 is 3 quarters of 100. So I can take three quarters of that answer, add it together, get 6,300. So this is very much the approach that we would use in Singapore maths to say to the children, let's look at all these different ways of doing this. Partly because somebody might think, I never thought of doing it like that before. Brilliant, I'll use that next time. Or they might think, I don't understand that, but I do understand that. So there they've got something that they do understand. So by just giving children this one kind of method of doing things, if that's the one they don't get, where are they going to go? You give them lots and lots of ways of looking at the number, developing their number sense, they've got much more chance of being able to tackle problems later on. Yeah.